in addition to the water molecules and gases which are transported in and out of the cell through passive mechanisms of diffusion and osmosis the cell also obtains nutrition its food from its environment and expels out waste material by some other mechanisms called endocytosis and exocytosis but these are active transport mechanisms as they require cells energy unlike diffusion and osmosis which were passive transport mechanisms so let's see what are endocytosis and exocytosis endocytosis is the process in which cell absorbs the molecules the food molecules by engulfing them the plasma membrane creates a small deformation inwards called as invagination and in in this invagination the substances to be transported are captured this deformation then pinches off from the membrane on the inside of the cell creating a vesicle containing these captured substances amoeba also acquires its food through this process it extends its membrane because the plasma membrane of any animal cell is very flexible and because of this property only it can undergo endocytosis and exocytosis so it extends its membrane forming the pseudopodia which captures the food particles and engulf it by forming this food vacuole or vesicle and the process is called phagocytosis so if the food particle is a solid particle which is internalized the process is called phagocytosis but if this is a small liquid molecule or ions then it is called pinocytosis the next mechanism is exocytosis just as material can be brought into the cell by invagination and formation of vesicle similarly the cell's waste material which is generated by various chemical reactions taking place inside or cells secretion of some proteins or hormones this can be done or these molecules can be extruded out into the surrounding by fusion of the membrane of this vesicle with the plasma membrane and this process is called exocytosis in this process the undigested waste containing food vacuole or the secretory vesicles they move towards the inter from the interior of the cell towards the surface and then this vesicle membrane comes in contact with the plasma membrane and fuses with it and discharges its material out of the cell so exocytosis occurs in various cells to remove undigested residues to secrete substances such as hormones and enzymes so it has a great relevance 